It appears from the identities that Y may be computed either directly as the economy's output or indirectly as the sum of consumption, investment, government expenditure, and net exports. Alternatively, Y may also be computed from statistical data on incomes or from statistics on consumption, saving, and taxes. In practice, most national accounts take an output approach and compute Y as the value of an economy's output of final goods and services during a period of time. Notice the term final. The term indicates that there is an underlying problem computing the value of the economy's output as it appears from this simplified example. In the table, the bottom line indicates the value of the output of three firms, computed for each firm as the sum of its product's production costs and the firm's profits. However, since the value of output of firm number one of 120 enters into the production costs and the value of the output of firm number two, and since the value of output of firm number two of 420 enters into the production costs and value of output of firm number three, adding the values to get the total value of output of this three-firm economy, you triple count firm number one's output of 120 and double count the output of firm number two of 420. Consequently, we subtract each firm's cost of intermediate goods from its value of output to get the economy's total value of output of final goods and services.